Hey guys, what is going on? We got some Giants trading news here and some good Giants trade news at that. So the Giants have traded Olivier Vernon in a fourth round pick to the Browns for Kevin Zeitler in a fifth round pick. The Giants fourth round pick was kind of towards the end of the fourth round and I believe the Browns fifth round pick was a uh, kind of towards the middle of the fifth round, so not too bad for the Giants on uh, the, you know, I guess pick swap there, the draft spot, uh, draft spot swap there. And let me just say this, I am very pleased with this move, you know, the Giants, they're kind of making it up to me a little bit after the Landon Collins move, because you know what, the Landon Collins move still, it still breaks my heart, it still hurts, I mean, it's going to be kind of, you know, tough to make that up to me or all the Giants fans out there but this move is a good move the offensive line is looking much better than it has in recent years this is one of the better Giants offensive lines in recent years you know Zeitler is one of the I would say he's in the conversation or in the group of the top guards in the league he's not he's not just some random guard he's one of the top guards I would say um, I wouldn't say he's the top obviously but you know he's in that pool of guys Olivier Vernon he had some injuries last year and I think it was honestly best for the Giants to move on for him from him the defense didn't play well last year um, obviously they're just they're just getting rid of everyone that was on that defense I mean Really, who's on that defense right now? It's the rookies from last year and Janoris Jenkins is who, who comes to mind right now because that defense, that defense is uh, going to need some new players because I honestly think they just need new players to stand out there on the field. There's just not, not, that, not that many players there on that defense, let alone big name players. Um, so defense, yeah, that's just something that's going to need work. But the offensive line has just been this ongoing issue, this ongoing problem. And it's nice to finally see the star, the line, the what the line start to take a good form or good shape or look good because it's just been it's been a huge issue, like I said. And you know, yeah, if Eli's a quarterback, it'll protect Eli that line. If they draft a rookie quarterback, that line will protect that rookie quarterback and make it easier for them. And if they trade for Josh Rosen, probably do a video on that, so stay tuned. It will also protect him. So no matter, I guess, what the Giants do in the draft, this line is going to benefit that offense because the offense needs a good line to let Saquon Barkley play at his best, Odell Beckham Jr. play at his best, and whoever's playing quarterback play at their best. They shouldn't have to worry about just a terrible, terrible line because that's what it's honestly been the past few years. It's been atrocious. It's been so frustrating. So... Dave Gellman, obviously a guy who's known for being very focused on the line. The hog moldies is what he calls them. So this is a this is a Dave Gellman move and I think it I think it was a good move because, you know, Olivia Vernon, maybe he needed that fresh start in Cleveland. I don't know. They owed him a lot of money. I believe it was reported, I think Dan Dugan, I believe that's his name, reported on Twitter that they saved one point five million dollars in cap space because of this trade. Uh, Zeitler is also owed some money, or they still have to, yeah, give Zeitler some money or something like that. So yeah, not not huge savings there, but I think it's I think he just needed a fresh start. Vernon did, and I think in addition to a line is always welcomed, especially Giants fans. I think all the Giants fans on Twitter that I saw were so happy to get a good offensive lineman. It's like yes, a good offensive lineman. The offensive line might actually be okay this year. Might actually be able to keep pressure off the quarterback for more than one second. So yeah. That's it for this video, guys. It's it's a good move. It's a good move. Um, makes me feel a little bit happier after the Collins trade because, like I said, that still stings. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video, comment down below, and subscribe. Peace out.